Welcome to the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland, where blue crabs are king. If you've ever lived by the bay, you might have a base of knowledge from your crab eating experiences. But as I've discovered, there's always something new to learn. Captain CJ of FV Miss Paula grew up on the water and is a commercial crabber wrapping up his 20th season. The captain shares his knowledge with this four part steamed crab series to pass along tips and tricks on how to steam a big pot of crabs, light crabs, females, heavy crabs, and even dead crabs. Hopefully this will make you a little more savvy when you go out for crabs or purchase carryout. So first up, the lights. So what's a lighter crab? The way we tell here, you can see this crab is pretty dirty. He's got some growth on him, starting to get some color on him. But what we do here in Maryland is we squeeze the sides on all our crabs. So if you, if you look, this crab's got just a little bit of flex. So depending on how much flex you have is how long it's been since that crab shed his shell. This crab here is starting to get fairly firm, it's getting dirty. This one may steam up and actually have a fair bit of meat in it. Typically the lights a lot of times can be watery because they haven't filled all the way back in yet. They haven't hardened up and they haven't uh, filled all the meat back in because they grow. So when they shed their shell, they're going to grow an inch or so. So they have to fill all that back in over time and it takes a couple weeks. So these crabs uh, typically are sold cheaper, a lot of times dollar, dollar fifty crabs. Uh, they're sold separately from good hard crabs. So most of the time they're just sold not by size, they're sold by whether they're a hard crab or they're a light crab. These are called junk crabs, trash crabs, picking crabs, summer crabs, lots of different names. Some people sell them as good crabs. You get a crab, you order crabs, and you get one in there, you open it up and it's got a little bit of watery and the meat, uh, you pull the legs out and let the meat all comes out of them. Those crabs are what we would call light crabs, lighter crabs. Always males, uh, you can tell the male by the pointed apron on the bottom. They don't have the red, red tips on their claws. This is a decent size, probably would be a medium size crab. It's probably five and three quarters or so size across the top of the shell. But because it's light, it's going to be sold as a light crab. Sometimes on the boat we get what we call super trash, which is basically just a paper shell. So that's where the top and the, and the sides, the whole crab is kind of squishy. So those crabs are basically worthless for anything. They're too hard to sell as a soft crab. They're too soft to sell as a hard crab or a light. So the shell's got to be at least fairly firm in order to sell as a light. If not, the shell just kind of, when you steam it, it kind of deteriorates and falls apart. It doesn't really hold together to where you can actually eat it. It's just too soft. Those crabs all get thrown overboard. That's what we call super trash. Some people call them poor crabs or paper shells or you know, a few different names for them, but those are what you would typically throw overboard. They're not good for anything. They wouldn't be kept at all. You should know that if I'm throwing them over, they must not be any good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like the lights. Uh, they're easier to, to pick. I'll show you when we steam them up, the, the meat pulls right out of them. You can pick through them real quick if you want to make uh, crab cakes or something. Getting lights is a great, easy way to pick the meat out quick. Good for kids. You're going to spend all this money on crabs, and they're just going to pick through them and waste half of it and whatever else. The lights are good for kids to eat and uh, people that don't eat crabs often cheaper crab because it hasn't filled in yet it's not a good full crab those crabs are always cheaper than a good heavy crab so good way to initiate people into the process of eating crabs and if you just want to taste and you want to spend a ton of money i always sell my lights a lot cheaper than the hard crabs i like for people to be able to eat crabs if you ain't got a lot of money or you want to have a bunch of people over or whatever you get a couple bushels it's not going to break the bank but you can still have a traditional maryland crab feast and not cost you a bunch of money and put you out. I'll show you the trick that I use to make the lights taste a little bit better. Uh, we put them in a cooler and then let them sit for a while, season them up good, and that seasoning with that juice inside of them, it kind of draws that seasoning in and really seasons the meat up good. Really makes, gives them a really good taste, makes them taste really good. I like my crabs hot or cold. I don't like them lukewarm. When they're lukewarm, they're 
not as good. When they're nice and hot or they're cold right out of the refrigerator, they just have a better taste to me. Once they cool, once they cool off, they're kind of, I don't know, they lose a little bit. For storing them, if you got, you put them in the cooler, then they stay hot longer, so take a couple out and eat them. That way, you dump them out on the table, they start to all get cold. The cooler helps insulate, keeps them warm, and make sure you always got good, good hot crabs to eat. Some people just leave them in the steam pot, take what they need, and the steamer will keep them warm. But um, if you steam your crabs somewhere different than where you're eating them, if you're if you steam them in your garage and then you eat them on the deck, you can take the core to the deck. You don't have a steam pot and all that or whatever. But you can also leave them in the steam pot. So that's another little trick to keep them warm until you're ready to serve them. It doesn't seem like you can really overcook crabs. I mean, obviously you left them in there for a real long time. You can't undercook them. That, that happens often. Meat gets mushy and sometimes it's still watery. You never want to eat a mushy crab. It's either rotten or it's undercooked. Leaving them in the pot too long or it doesn't seem to ever be an issue over steaming them. You always want to steam them longer than not enough. The one thing you really got to watch is boiling all the water out of the bottom of your pot. If you boil the water out of your pot, that will ruin your crabs every single time. When all the liquid uh, cooks off, you're basically burning the bottom of the pot and that, that burnt flavor goes all through the crabs. More than one bushel of nice crabs has been ruined by boiling the water out. So you gotta keep an eye on your, make sure you put enough water in the bottom of your pot so that you don't do that. Keep your lid sealed on tight so that it doesn't all, all the steam doesn't seep out the top. I had a little piece of crabs here uh, I wanted to go through. Bronco and his family are gonna take a bunch home. They're gonna have a great feast tonight. We're gonna, I'm gonna pick through these males. These are all lights here. So we got uh, about three quarters of a bushel here. We'll, we'll probably steam most of it. Whatever will fit the pot. It's gonna be some happy people tonight. Thank you. Maryland, we steam our crabs. Uh, that's just what we do. You gotta have some way to keep the crabs out of the water. So I use the stainless steel contraption. This actually has little legs on it, but it doesn't keep them up high enough. So I put this in. Then I put my grate in. That helps keep the crabs up out of the water and just the steam boils through them. When they do them in the crab houses, the carry outs, they use dry steam. So they have a boiler that blows steam in. There's no uh, water at all. You're not boiling water, you're blowing dry steam in. That um, gives you a really good product and that's what the vast majority of places use when you get them, when you order them from somewhere. This old pot here is a World War II cook pot. My neighbor gave it to me. US stamped on the side. I'm pretty sure it's, it's aluminum. And then I got this stainless steel lid that goes on the top, makes a nice, nice tight fit. You don't have something with a real tight lid, you want to get some newspaper or something and put it around there and keep it tight, keep that steam in there, because if you're losing a lot of steam, you're gonna boil all your water out. So this this is a good tight lid. Now, what we use to steam the crabs, that's some people use water. Some people Add a beer and water, minus a slug or two. Put your beer in there. Some people use apple cider vinegar. Some people use white vinegar. We're gonna use it all just so we cover all the bases and I don't have to get comments like, oh, you didn't use apple cider vinegar. It ain't gonna taste right. We're gonna use them all. I guess I'll get complaints because we used it all. Oh well, I don't care, I ain't got no feelings. A little apple cider vinegar, about that much, a little, little, little bit, splash, a little, little some. A little white vinegar. I like the white vinegar because I think it keeps the foam down. Uh, some of that juice starts to come out of them, they start bubbling out. It can get in the water and it makes the water bubble up real bad and I don't like the water bubbling up. So I, I, uh, I think that vinegar helps with that. Some people add a little seasoning in there too, kind of season that water. You get so much of it falling in there, I don't ever add any, add any seasoning. And then your water, you want to have a good, good amount of water in there so that it 
Uh, it isn't going to bubble up or boil the crabs. It's going to just make a good steam and steam them. But you always want to have a little more liquid than you need because you do not want to boil that water out of there. If you boil that water out of there, your crabs are going to get thrown in the trash. They will be no good. All right, first and foremost, you want that water boiling before you put the crabs in there. If you do not let that water boil, it's going to take an hour and a half. Get the water boiling, it's about 35 minutes, 40 minutes at the most, to steam the crabs, make some good and completely cooked all the way through, no issues with them. We're going to fire this steamer up, just got a propane bottle, make sure you got enough gas to get through, through the cooking process. This particular steamer has a, one of these here safety regulators on it. Of course, we're going to bypass that. Like I always say, safety third. Got us a zip tie to hold that down. You can't zip tie it, it ain't worth fixing. This one also has a timer on it, automatic shutoff timer. After 15 minutes, which is more like 12, it shuts the burner off. So if you're not paying attention, you don't come out here and keep turning the knob, you got crabs that have shut off and then then they're cold. I mean, it's a mess. So we use this here clamp to put on there. And then that bypasses the, the timer. So we won't have to worry about it shutting off for the low pressure or whatever switch. And the timer switch, we can open up the gas and let her eat. I like to get the flame good and high, really cooking, getting that water really boiling, and then throw the crabs in there, let it let it cook really good for 10 or 15 minutes, and then maybe turn it down some just so it's more like a rolling boil. The easiest way I found to light these. Yep. Because we're good matches, which I don't have. Get your match going, lay that in there, turn your gas on, that way you don't burn your fingers, I guess you could have one of them grill starters. Get her turned up good and hot. Put your lid on, and then wait for it to come to a real good roll and boil and then we'll put them crabs in there always want to wait until that water is boiling good you can see that steam starting to come out I didn't put the lid on super tight that's how you want it it's it's a roll and boil really boiling good it's not coming up over the top of the strainer so you're not boiling them crabs you're you're just steaming them we're gonna throw these crabs in there we're gonna season a layer throw crabs in there season layer throw crabs in season layer and then slam the lid on there. We're going to cook them for about 40 minutes. It's a, quite a few crabs here we're going to do, so we want to get them good and cooked. All right, the seasoning. We've already been through this. I do not use Old Bay. Old Bay does not have flake salt in it. It does not have that good crab house crab taste. You might use Old Bay. I don't think it tastes as good. That's my personal opinion. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just telling you how I do it. I got a mixture here. This is J.O. and Harbor, and might even have some old original Y River still residual in there who knows we're gonna give them a good shake season them up good we're gonna add another layer Going a little 
easy on the seasoning just because the kids are going to eat them and I don't want to get them too hot. We'll make sure they enjoy them. If they were mine, I'd be seasoning them heavy. That's how I like them. One of them nice number two crabs. See that, see that steam still coming through them good. We're gonna hit them good. Oh, it smells good. But can you smell it? We're gonna slam that lid home. We're gonna set the timer. 40 minutes. We'll check them, look through them a little bit, make sure, break a leg off, test the meat. We'll turn this burner off. Still see it's got a little bit of steam coming off, open it up. Let some of that steam out. Ooh, man, that smells good. You don't want to use the gloves you put the live crabs in with to pick your steam crabs you want to use something else because all the germs and that bacteria and all that's on them crabs will get on your your crabs to eat Woo! so we'll pull a few out check down here in the middle when you cook a big batch like this sometimes the outside can get good and cooked but down there in the middle where the steam didn't get all into, sometimes you'll have some little raw ones. You don't want that. You gotta make sure they get all the way, all the way good and steamed. I like to try to get down in there a little ways and get one of them crabs. Take and set a claw aside. Let it cool off a little bit and we'll bust it open and make sure it's good and cooked through. better than that. Take a little newspaper, set it in your cooler. Just helps keep it a little cleaner. And we'll take them crabs. lid on there and especially them them lights the steam and the seasoning and that kind of that water that's in them will all kind of mix together and that seasoning will really suck inside of them and that's a really good trick for them lights put them in a cooler let them sit for another half hour or so let that sink let them marinate kind of in that season and then pull them out and eat them they'll still be nice and warm you gotta make sure you set the table for a crab feast Grab yourself old Balmer Sun or the Capital Paper or whatever you got laying around. Here we got these light crabs. These are uh, easy picking. Open them up, the meat comes out. You can break them claws, pull the meat out of them. It's a lot easier to eat. This is my favorite part right here. Pull all that back fin out. Get that big lump. Even these little side legs, you can eat them. Easy. Meat comes right out of them. Now these crabs definitely, you know, they're not, not full. So there's not, not quite as much meat as a nice heavy full crab. 
but they're just so easy to eat. A lot less time consuming to pick through. And these, if you let them sit a little bit in that core, that juice kind of sucks in, in that seasoning, and really, really gives them a great flavor because the crab hasn't filled all, all the meat back in. It shed a couple weeks ago. It's still got some room to, to fill the meat in because it, it grew its shell. That's why that, that water will get in there and fill in those voids where the, where the meat isn't. Man, are they good. Mm. You can see they're a little bit juicier. That juice has such a good flavor to it. Mm. You can break them legs loose. The meat comes out. If you're paying big money for crabs and you're opening them up and they're watery, that's a light crab. You shouldn't be paying more than $25, $30 at the very most a dozen for lights. A lot of times they're a dollar, dollar, fifty, you know, fifteen, twenty bucks a dozen for crabs. And in Maryland, mm. that's dirt cheap. Even the smalls right now are $25 to $35 a dozen for small, heavy, good heavy small. Even if it's a nice big crab, if that thing's all watery, shouldn't be like that. Just my opinion. In Maryland, it's all about how heavy the crabs are. So if they're good and packed, really full, full crabs, that's what you're paying the big money for. If you know they're light, you know you know what you're getting. But in the instance where you're paying good money, then you shouldn't be getting light. We squeeze all our crabs, all the lights get put in a separate basket, the hard crabs go in another basket and we get paid differently. I sell most of my lights out of the house because I can get some more money for them. My buyer doesn't want the lights, so. If you never tried the lights, cheap crabs, summer crabs, the picking crabs, trash crabs, give them a try. Put them in a core for a half hour, let them sit, marinate, and juices and that seasoning all together. I promise you, you will not regret it. Good way to save a few dollars on the lights.